It was just an understanding that I would take care of him. I would do whatever needed to be done. She denied that there was anything wrong. And um, her own father died of Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's was the last thing I thought about. I thought of overwork. I thought of too many things going on at once, too many programs he was handling at once. I thought of a zillion things. The last thing I thought of was that he was losing his mind. I'm Dr. John Zeisel, and I'm committed to giving people with dementia a life worth living. I'm going to share stories with you of people I've worked with and those who've lived in assisted living residences that I've helped run. Through my years of experience and through the neuroscience of recent years, I've gathered lessons that have helped shape my philosophy, which I call the I'm Still Here approach. Join me as we discuss the exciting prospect of hopeful aging. Everything that I'm going to talk about today is available to people living at home. It's for everyone living with dementia and their partners in every situation and at any stage of dementia. Learning, it turns out, is an element of our keeping healthy. Other people are now calling learning mind exercise or mind games or cognitive stimulation. Learning is different. It's meaningful stimulation. It's personal stimulation. It has to do with who we are, with our identity and with our health. So what are the problems that people face with dementia? And specifically, what are the myths that people have about dementia that stand in the way of their being themselves, of their creating themselves, and of their remembering? And I'd like to do that without any shame, because there's no shame in having dementia. Just like there's no shame in having any other condition. But there is a lot of despair. And despair leads to fear, fear leads to myths, and myths leads to these traps that trap us from really being able to live our lives. The belief that the person is not there, and these other myths that I'm going to talk to you about that surround Alzheimer's and dementia, they make sense. Many people have had the experience that they walk up to somebody um, with Alzheimer's and they say, well, hi, and the person says, well, who are you? that does naturally lead to those people saying, well, I guess mom doesn't know who I am. Loving families are, are, are thrown for a loop by this condition because they naturally believe their, their, their loved one is not there. It's natural. It makes sense. It's just not always the case. Only if we reverse these myths can you and your loved ones, the people we work with, the people we love, move forward. What is all this about? Is it merely because we're trying to say, yes, people with dementia should learn? This story about keeping the brain healthy, about how does the brain work, about creativity, about curiosity, and about learning. People with dementia can have a life worth living. And they can have a life worth living if we give them that dignity and that respect, but if we help them learn, if we help their brains do what they're supposed to be doing and what they were born to do, which is be curious and be creative.